I can't believe it's the middle of May. It's freezing, it's it down, it's windy, and there's probably gonna be no car boots on at the weekend. Hey, welcome back to Cooking the Haydens and I'm Car Boot Chris. And as you can tell, I'm getting a bit tired of this cold weather. So it means that probably no boot sale at the weekend, um, who knows. But I'm gonna take you along for a ride. I'm going to Ivy Bridge Charity Shops. So there's not many there, there's about two or three max. Um, but also I'm gonna visit that tip shop again, see if their prices has improved a bit after my last video. Um, so yeah, join us and we'll see what we can find. Hello everybody and welcome back to another thrifting commentary and first up it's back at the tip shop um, or the dump shop or the recycling centre, one of those. Um, yeah and I'm just having a look here at the controllers which are all the same as what they were about two weeks ago. If you watched that other video that I did about the tip shop there's a lot of the same stuff here and guess what? There's the super soaker thing that everyone was telling me I should have picked up. It was still there two weeks later. Unbelievable. Nobody's picked it up. I'm definitely having that this time. I do not make the same mistake twice. And would you believe it, a car boot sale jigsaw. That is pretty impressive. So I'll just have a quick look at the CDs here. Uh, I don't often pick up CDs, but there you go. That's a soundtrack for Captain Corelli's Mandolin. That's a great film if you've not seen that one. Disney Mug, pretty standard. Still in box, brand new, so... Probably take that. Easy pick up as long as it's cheap enough. You know what the prices are like in here. And a sealed jigsaw. Now that's what I'm talking about. Quick look at the games. And then I spotted this Disney hot plate thing. It should be chrome, nicely chromed, but it's got, you know, it's got a bit of wear to it. Quite a lot of wear actually. For the right price though. Probably a good buy. I've sold one of these before. I can't remember the exact price, but I'd say it was somewhere between 20 and 30 pound, but in really good condition. This one's clearly not. So we'll check our prices. Let's have a look. Okay, I'll have that. I don't know what that is. It's the bag, I think. Being £5 for that bag. Yeah, I'll leave the bag. All right. £5 for the mug. Yeah. Jigsaw. And time for the jigsaw. Yeah, that's fine. I love those. I've got it separate. Oh, okay. And um, what about that one? That's five pound, that one. Five, I'll leave that one. So we picked up a couple of bits there. Tune in to the end of the video when we'll do the full haul. You'll see exactly what I picked up. We're just on our way into Ivy Bridge here um, in the South Hams in Devon. Nice river running right through the middle of Ivy Bridge. There are only three charity shops here in Ivy Bridge and um, we'll see if we can hit them all up and see what we find. First up is Bernardo's. The obligatory hand gel. Absolutely hate using that stuff. But, you know, gotta be done, I suppose. So let's see what we can pick up in here, if anything. Well, there's a Las Vegas, Viva Las Vegas board game here, which looked quite good for £3. But I did go away and do a little bit of checking. Uh, not worth it, really. Probably worth about a tenner. Quick look through the clothing. Bit expensive. That's a super dry jacket there. Can't quite see the price on it, but I know it was a minimum £10. Oh, bag's in the way there. Sorry about that, my Ikea bag. Get out of the way. Just checking the old labels to see what we've got. 
but again, a bit pricey, really. I'd probably have to do some proper checking on my phone on some of these, really. Um, you know, £10 and above. I'm not one to buy on a whim at that kind of money. I ain't made of money. Not a lot, really, of clothing. Sesame Street there. Still a bit pricey. See what else we've got? An interesting wooden umbrella. Oriental sort of vintage handmade thing. Not sure what you call them. Probably just an umbrella. And an interesting looking lamp there as well. Um, made by Argos, but a butterfly Tiffany lamp. It's got £10 on it. I'm going to have to make sure that this is worth it before I leave the shop. And one of them barometer things. Everyone seems to be picking these up at the moment. Uh, this had a fiver on it, so probably worth it. I don't pick them up often. I knit back to the jackets because they put some new ones out and I spotted this one. And I think I'll probably pick that up. So stay tuned and we'll see exactly what that is and how much it cost me and what it's worth. That'll be coming up very soon. So on to the next one. We have just have to walk through this little indoor area. A few little cafes and shops and stuff through here and on to this charity shop. Hannah's. Hello. Just having a look at the media mainly, not books really, it's a bit higher up. A couple of DVDs here I've never seen before, a couple of movies, and you know how much I like movies, guys. This one, Summerland, looks interesting. Kind of thing me and Belle can watch together. British film, never really heard of it, but it's got some stars in it. So I'll give that one a go, probably for a quid. I don't mind paying a pound for something I'm going to keep. And there was another one here as well that I spotted. That looked all right, I'd never seen before. Are you going to pick it up? Yeah, there we go. The Angel of Auschwitz. And that looked interesting. So, yeah, we'll give that one a go. Let me know if you've seen either of these films, um, if you're watching, and uh, let me know if they're any good. Well, we're done at Ivy Bridge. Um, I picked up a few bits, nothing major, but let's head back to HQ and evaluate. Right, so I went to just three charity shops in Ivy Bridge, plus the tip shop, so that's four shops. Um, I'll just get straight into it and I'll show you what I picked up. A few bits and bobs, probably more than normal, to be honest. Um, so, now, I picked this up because I've seen a few people, or a couple at least, pick these up on their videos. It's a wooden oriental umbrella. I don't know if they have a flashy name or not, I need to look him up. Um, but if I just move back a bit, I won't put it right up because that's bad luck to put an umbrella up indoors. But to be fair, I could have used this out there while I was walking around. I mean, I'd look like a complete tit, but I could have used it to protect myself from the rain. So here it is. Don't know how much you can see of it, but it's one of these wooden handmade sort of um, oriental things. It's got dragons on it. It's got like a cock on it and not one of those, a cock. And then another dragon. And then another cock, two cocks. Gutter, gutter. Um, anyway, I paid £6 for this, and um, it's hard to tell what it's worth because it's not. I couldn't see the exact same one on eBay, uh, but there's similars. I'm thinking £40, maybe £50. There has some gone for more than that. There's 
some a bit less. I'm thinking I'm a 40, 50 if I'm lucky on that for six pound. Um, what else have we got? We've got this um, clock and barometer on a plaque. Um, these are always quite nice to pick up. I very rarely see them, to be honest with you. I know I've seen, who have I seen pick these up recently? Maybe Derek, the tap peddler. Maybe Mr. Diggs has picked one up. So people are picking them up. This one's in real nice condition. It did cost me £5. So to be honest with you, I probably paid up for it. Um, but there's one or two similar that have gone for around 25 So I'll probably aim for 25 um, There are better examples out there, but that one just, you know, five or into 25 is okay. Um, I picked up a cycling jacket. That's this one. Um, it's uh, MFX Pure Breed. It cost me £6, so I paid more than what I would normally. But with it being a jacket and with the weather being shocking like this, um, I think this will probably go fairly easily for around £25. I've not looked that up. I'm just going off the top of my head on that one. Just on the old cyclins, I reckon about 25 for that. Um, I also got this uh, Mickey Mouse mug. It's um, and he's got his arm on it, so it's like an arm mug. Not worth a huge amount of money, but at one pound with its box, it's got to be worth um, ten to twelve pound probably on that. I picked up a couple of DVDs for us. Uh, these are not for reselling. I just like the look of them. If you can say that you like the look of an Auschwitz related film. Um, the Angel of Auschwitz. Sound like a good film. It's always interesting to watch these, like Schindler's List and that, because I've been to Auschwitz. And, um, you know, good to watch. So that looked like a good film. Um, and this one was Summerland. I've never seen that. And it's got um, quite a few British stars in it. British film, by the looks of it. But yeah, it looks, it looks like a nice little film. Me and Annabelle will watch that at some point. So they were a pound each. Don't mind that if I'm keeping it for myself. Um, now, what else have I got? I got this um, light. Now, I paid £10 for this. This is charity shop price. It's gone mad. Um, it's a butterfly Tiffany table lamp. Branded Argos. Um, I had to look this up because I wasn't going to pay. There's like a threshold, isn't there? I, mean, I don't know if you have it but in your head, but there's a threshold for me where I look things up. Majority of the time, I don't look hardly anything up. I just take a chance on things. But when you start getting towards £10 and above... Almost always I'll check it out. I don't want to, you know, spend a tenner without it being worth something. So I think, because it's got its box, even though it's second hand, I think, and here's one I made earlier, that it might be worth around 30 to £40. Pound. Quite a nice looking light. Butterfly thing. All working, as you can see. It's in nice condition, just needs a wipe down. And the, well, the uh, the lead's got a bit of stuff stuck on it. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, it cost £10, so I paid up for it. But it's nice to have nice things in your store. So, 30 to 40 maybe on that. Put that back down there. What else did I get? Okay, uh, I'll leave that to last. I picked up this jumbo puzzle in the um, tip shop. I didn't even notice the pattern on it. I only picked it up because it was new and sealed. I don't, I'm not very rarely bothering with jigsaws if they're not sealed up because I just can't be asked with the hassle of missing pieces. So I didn't even notice that it's Snow White. I just picked it up because it was sealed. But of course, if you look carefully, it's Snow White. And I'm thinking that might make it even worth a bit more. Um, Scott Gustafson, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's 1994, so still sealed, which is nice. Jumbo puzzle. 
Um, paid one pound for it, and I think about twenty pound on that. Now the last thing, and you might recognise this, guys. For anyone who watched my tip shop video, if you didn't watch it, I'll show it you at the end of the at the at the end of the thing, the end screen card thing. It'll be on that. I'll put it on there for you. If you haven't seen it, I'm pretty sure that this was in there when I um, I was walking around and I missed it. I didn't pick it up. I didn't think it was worth anything. But it's a super soaker. It's 19.99, so it's vintage. It's a vintage one. Um, but there was a few of you who commented on the video to say I should have picked that up. And it was more than one of you, and somebody sent me a message as well. Um, so I was surprised to see that it was still there on the shelf when I went in. So straight away I picked that up. You probably saw it in the video. I just need to test it out. Be good actually, I can shoot Annabelle. But it's a Super Soaker XP310. It was one pound. And actually these are going for like 30 quid. So that's a nice one. It needs a real good clean up. Looks like it's been in someone's garage for a long time. Um, if I can get 30 quid for it, I'd be very happy on the condition. Maybe a bit less because of the condition, but let's hope it works, fingers crossed. Um, that's everything. So not a massive haul, but four shops. One of them, one of them I didn't even buy anything in. Um, so technically three shops. So it was all right. Um, that's it. That's it for today. It was as simple as that. So uh, keep a look out for future videos coming up and the live shows every Monday night. Um, and if you're into movie movies and movie chats and want to talk about films, we do another live show on a th every other Thursday at 7pm. So uh, we'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye.